It's got these micro blisters that I was talking about. Good stuff. You really should be here to try this. Hey, welcome to the best pizza shop. I am Jesse. If you are new to the channel, it is my mission to make the best pizza in Beaver County, Pennsylvania. If you're not new to the channel, welcome back. You know I have a lot of deadpan humor and sarcasm, but I also take a lot of pride in making my pizzas. So one of the things I've been really seeking after my dough is getting these micro blisters on the crust. Everybody loves that modded leopard print, but what actually caused them is that the oil is it the malt and the sugar? Is it just good old fashioned pizza voodoo? Today I'm running a side-by-side -side experiment using three different doughs, each with 66% hydration and cold fermented for 72 hours. Same flour, same yeast, same water, same salt. Just one difference, what's added or what's not. One dough recipe has olive oil but no malt. One dough recipe has malt but no olive oil, and the third dough recipe has neither malt nor olive oil. The dough is 90% all Trump's high gluten flour and 10% King Arthur whole wheat flour. I'm gonna get started making three pieces. I'm gonna make them the exact same way. They're 500 grams each. I'm gonna make, be making a 16 inch pie. I'm gonna be cooking them on a steel at 550 degrees. It's been preheated for well over an hour. I'm gonna to be topping them with my sauce and grande cheese, and we're gonna compare the crust and see how it goes. First one up is no oil, but there is malt in the dough. Again, I'm using about six ounces of grande's 50-50 mozzarella and skim milk blend. In my opinion, Grande makes the best cheese on the market. That is an opinion that is shared by many, many people. Grande can be purchased at GFS and Penmac in the Strip District. All right, the no olive oil pie is going in. Next up is the no malt pie. This does have olive oil in it. And I'm gonna make the last pie with no oil and no malt. All right, here we go. Here's the first pie. You got no malt and no oil. We got the second pie here with no malt. And last but not least, we have the pie with no oil. Now this pie has been sitting the longest. Put a little fresh basil on these pizza pies. Fresh from my garden. My garden does not sponsor these videos. A little olive oil. And this crust here. Let's take a look at this first one. It is droopy, I might say flaccid, as I like to describe my pizza. Uh, probably could have been left in a little longer. Let's get a close up of that gluten structure. Again, this is a no olive oil. It's lacking crisp, it's lacking char. Uh, no, I'm not impressed. 
<laughs> good, but it's nothing to write home about. This is, uh, no malt. you like to see what the crust looks like? Should I get up in there nice and close for you? All right, this is the one I'm the most excited about. I love the way it looks. It's got these micro blisters that I was talking about. The gluten structure looks about the same in all of these. I'll tell you what differentiates those little bumps. I'm a believer, man. No, uh, no oil, no malt from now on. Can't believe I'm saying this. Start going higher hydration. This is at 66 percent. I might try even higher next time. Maybe do a 66, 68, 70 with no olive oil and no malt. good stuff. You really should be here to try this. So much freaking pizza, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. If you like this video, oh. so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss all this great pizza content moving forward. Leave a comment below. Rest in peace, Ozzy Osbourne. I'm really curious to know what you think and what your experience is getting these little micro blisters in the, uh, in the crust. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. I, I'll dive deeper into that if you want. If you uh, experience micro blisters on your body, I'm really interested to hear about that. So leave a comment below. Tell me about your micro blisters. I had a blister on my thumb. It was not caused by malt or olive oil. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. I'm just gonna keep eating. <laughs>